Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. I don't really know what I'm doing filming videos anymore. <laughs> I'm just so used to like filming um, short clips for my Instagram anymore that like filming a full length video is like uh. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the Game of Thrones video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up above. But right now, since I am my pastely color again i wanted to uh show you guys this product i haven't used it yet it's from loving tan you guys know or maybe you don't know i don't know how i've talked about it but um i love their self tanner it makes me feel and look so much healthier i don't know like when i'm pale i just feel like pasty and like my skin looks really dry i also don't moisturize but yeah <laughs> i i just feel like i look healthier when I have some tan on my skin is what it is. So this is a brand new product from Loving Tan. It comes in light, medium, and dark. So I'm just gonna be using the light since I am so pale right now. And this is a gradual tanner. So basically it's a nourishing tinted body lotion and it gives you a natural olive color. It's enriched with antioxidants and it's buildable for daily use. This is infused with shea butter and coffee bean and okay this word is it acai berry or is it acai berry i think it's acai but let me know in the comments below i should just google it so this is the applicator mitt you guys can also use my code i'll leave it up here to get a free mitt with purchase i believe that's still available so yeah let's just try it out i guess i guess since i'll be doing this like on my decolletage i'll move that down for you yeah i'm really curious about this i think like overall my tan lasts like the full color lasts like about a week because you know you get in the shower and you shower every day it honestly stays on for about three weeks like i have or maybe two weeks i still have like some color like i do have a bit of tan still on it just it kind of as it fades it does get a little bit patchy but like I still can tell that I have color on my skin because I'm not like as super translucent. I get very, very, very pale in the winter months. So just having that little bit of color is like super nice. Okay. Oh, did I just get on my nose? <laughs> Remove that. Um, it smells really good. Let's just apply it. I feel like it'll just be like a moisturizer. Oh, I already noticed a difference. Oh, that's nice. So I guess you won't have to like shower this off. It'll just be like your daily moisturizer. Oh, it feels really nice and hydrating. Oh, that does feel really nice. I feel like I'm going to go through this so fast. Oh, let me read it. While I'm reading it. it says... It gives your body a natural looking bronze glow all year round. It contains skin enriching antioxidants, acai berry, and coffee extract. This nourishing formula enhances your skin while a natural luminous tan develops. The instant color guide makes for a perfect application each time infused with a hydrating shea butter base. Your skin will be left feeling soft and smooth and supple with a sun-kissed glow. Definitely feel soft and supple. The supple. If you tell between the two arms, see how this one is like a little bit more pink? I don't know if you can really tell, but this one is definitely looking more olive toned. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I definitely can tell looking at my arms right now. It's not like a big difference though, because this is the light shade. I can definitely tell. Oh, I like that. Oh my god. I j can just tell already that I'm going to go through this so fast. Wow. I would say you probably don't want to put this on right after the shower. Just because, like, water and the tan don't really mix. So I would just, like, wait maybe until the next morning. Because I feel like if it got wet... Yeah, yeah. It says, for a more radiant and even result... Exfoliate the skin the night before application. Using your Loving Tan Deluxe Applicator Mint in working in sections, apply to your body in smoothing movements. Apply sparingly to dry areas such as feet, ankles, hands, 
and elbows. Build a deeper tan by reapplying daily until the required depth of color is achieved. To my chest now. Cool, I mean that was so easy and I don't feel like I look over the top. This will just apply some to my face as well. I usually always apply tan to my face, but it's the first place to go because I'm constantly removing my makeup. And I definitely feel like my arm is already looking darker. See, it already looks darker than this arm, so I guess it is developing. I guess I can keep you updated on how I like this. I can definitely do like an update in, in like maybe a week. Maybe I can even apply the next shade up in a week and we can see how that looks. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. They did send it to me, but I'm not getting paid to talk about it. I'm very curious about it because I do enjoy a self tan now. Hi guys, so this is my new hair. It's a bit of a mess right now. Oh, before we get into this, my nails, if you can see like stuff, I have purple in my nails because I haven't been able to wash my hair yet and it's all like stuck in my scalp. So like every time I like go like this, my nails are purple. So it's like, it's not dirt, it's just like, residual color on my scalp Ugh. okay so anyway <laughs> um it's been a couple days since i applied the light gradual tan you saw it in the last clip and um last night i decided because i i wanted to be a little bit darker i decided to throw on the medium tan and this is no like self tanner this is just this i am so happy with this color this looks so like natural and beautiful i'm just really really impressed and this is only one application well this a couple days ago and then this last night like I didn't even have to apply tan like this is beautiful and I'm not uh, maybe a little bit patchiness because I didn't exfoliate or anything I just like slapped it on nothing too crazy about the elbows exfoliation would have been good but I'm really impressed with it. I did use quite a lot. That's the only thing. I feel like I'm going to go through this so fast. I'm just going to apply another uh, round of the light on top. Maybe give it just a little bit. Um, I did apply it on my face as well. And I feel like there's a little patch here. So it might have it clung to a dry patch. Like I said, I'm not really exfoliating. So um, that would definitely help. Uh, your tan application is like really impressed with this like especially from the last clip I feel like I'm so much tanner. Uh, it's just so easy and like I really like that It's like a lotion Instead of the mousse. I mean, I do love the mousse, but I just feel like this is um, more hydrating and my skin is super dry It needs that moisture I was like I feel so like bronze a tan makes you feel healthy and like glowy so you definitely still want to exfoliate like a normal tan so now that it's been a couple days and I've used it more than once if you still want to see like a week update let me know down below and I'll do that I was so 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 pale in the first clip this is only after two applications well now I've done three, but one of the light and then another one of the medium. And then I just applied another of the light. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you on my next video, hopefully. <laughs> Bye, guys.